Hello there. I'm here to talk to you about the wonderful world of networking, more specifically, the client server and peer to peer setups. Let's get started. The most popular setup is the mighty client server. This allows clients to connect to a more centralized point. This means the centralized point can control things like file sharing, DNS setup, Active Directory for user accounts, and other configuration information. The most common topology for the client server setup is the star topology. Client server setups are a bit more expensive than peer to peer networks. However, the investment is worth it. They're more secure, faster, and more efficient than peer to peer networks. Now let's talk about those peer to peer networks. A peer to peer network means all clients are connected to each other with no centralized point. Peer to peer networks are far less expensive and easier to set up. They allow file sharing between clients and collaboration. Peers make a portion of their resources available to other clients on the network. This could be disk storage, network bandwidth, or even processing power. All of this is done without the central coordination of a server or a host. All clients on a peer to peer network are vulnerable to remote attacks, such as denial of service or routing attacks. So that wraps up the definition of what a client server and a peer to peer network is. Now, let's move on to when these will be used in real life situations. Let's start off with the client server. If a business had, say, a thousand clients connected to one central server, that server can then manage and control every client connected to itself. Like I said earlier, although it's expensive, the investment is well worth it for the benefits. However, having a big server means you have to have someone to administrate it. This can add extra costs to an already expensive server. Now onto the peer-to-peer -peer network and when it can be applied to real life. A peer-to-peer -peer network is perfect for a small group of users who just want to say, connect to a printer or share a few files. It's easy to set up and will get you file sharing in no time. Although all networks are vulnerable to attacks, the peer-to-peer -peer network is a little bit more insecure than a client server due to the fact every client can control and manage what other people do on the network. In the end, it's up to you to decide what network suits your needs. So that about wraps up the video. I've given the definition of what a client server and a peer-to-peer -peer network is, and explain when both networks can be used in real-life situations. I hope you found the video informative, and goodbye.